Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the best free VPN for Mac. Well, I've actually tested quite a few myself, and after all that, I've narrowed it down to just three solid picks. Proton VPN, XVPN, and Windscribe. They're all safe to use and completely ad-free. So let's break down what makes each one special, what the trade-offs are, and hopefully help you pick the right one for your Mac. First up, Proton VPN. So uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen Proton VPN pop up in every best free VPN video out there, right? Well, let's just cut to the chase. The interface is clean and easy to use, no traffic limits at all. When you connect, it'll randomly pick one of five free countries for you. Now, the downsides are pretty obvious. You have to register to use it, and it only works on one device at a time. Also, you can't manually choose a country or a protocol. It doesn't unblock streaming regions, and it doesn't support torrenting. So yeah, it's simple and reliable, but a bit limited if you're looking for more flexibility. Next up, XVPN. I actually discovered this one through a Reddit giveaway, and it kind of surprised me. And well, even though it's, you know, not as famous as Proton VPN, it actually has a pretty big user base, and the free version kind of fixes a lot of the stuff Proton doesn't cover. All right, so first, just like Proton, XVPN has no data limits, and you can't manually pick servers on Mac either. But here's the thing, you don't even need to register, so naturally there's no device limit. And on mobile, it's even better. You can manually pick from 15 countries, including 13 US city-level servers. Pretty impressive for a free VPN, right? Back to Mac, when you connect, it'll randomly pick one of 17 countries. I tested it with what is my IP address, and each reconnect usually gives a new country. Compared to Proton, which has a cooldown for changing servers, XVPN is way faster and, well, just more flexible. So yeah, you can just keep reconnecting with XVPN and check what is my IP address. Honestly, chances are you'll land on the country you want. Now, just like Proton, XVPN's free servers don't really unblock streaming restrictions. But um, the good news is, it supports torrenting, so no P2P limits like Proton. And honestly, my favorite thing about XVPN? The interface. It's super clean, responsive, and easy to navigate. Seriously, once you try it, you'll know what I mean. A lot of VPNs feel like a maze. Messy menus, confusing settings. But XVPN? Everything's organized logically. For example, right next to the Location tab is Settings, and under the Connection section, you can manually pick the protocol. They have their Everest protocol, which is their own tech, plus improved open-source protocols. Some advanced ones like WireGuard and Quick are free to use, too. Scrolling down a bit, the Kill Switch is free, too. And there are two other things you rarely see in free VPNs, but honestly, super useful for Mac users storage cleanup, and startup management. So, compared to Proton VPN, the free Mac version of XVPN is way more flexible, feature-rich. Honestly, just a really solid option for beginner VPN users. All right, last but not least, Windscribe. If we're talking about features, this one's a beast. You can manually pick from 10 countries, and its kill switch, split tunneling, and add plus tracker blocker are all free. Sounds amazing, right? Well, there's a catch. If you don't register with an email, you only get 2 GB per month. Add an email and it bumps up to 10. Still, that's not much, so streaming or torrenting? Probably not ideal on the free plan. So for light users, Windscribe's great. But if you care more about unlimited traffic, I'd still go with XVPN or ProtonVPN. And let's talk safety, because free VPNs always get a lot of questions about that. So far, Proton, XVPN, and Windscribe haven't had any confirmed data breaches. Proton and Windscribe have gone through multiple independent audits, and XVPN's third-party audit is expected to be completed and published this year. Of course, if you want more advanced features, all three have premium versions, and if you want to dig deeper into the differences between these free versions, I've put a link in the description. Don't forget to check it out. 
From a value perspective, XVPN and Proton are usually the better bang for your buck, while Winscribe is a bit pricier. So which free VPN for Mac fits your needs? Well, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be sharing more tech tips and guides soon.